Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and this is Town of Night. I had to do some digging to find this game. This is a game made uh, with SGB. It is available on Steam for, I think, $1.99, and that is where I found it. I had to look through the forums on Steam, and I don't know much about this particular game, except for the experience it's supposed to be something creepy, unsettling. Ah, or maybe not. Ah, revival feather from the outset. A bed? Do you want to rest? No. So no story. Nothing. Nothing really to, to get me, get me going. Just my wits. Just my wits. No helmets. No pads. Just brains. Brains and brawn. Now the screenshots made it look like there was a lot of first-person stuff going on, and it kind of reminded me of Ultima. Why is the clock still ticking? I just wanted... Oh, okay, cool. These clocks, man, I don't like them. Can I not open the chest? I cannot open the chest. That's reasonable. Who are you? Are you my daughter? My wife, perhaps? I look a little young. I am a blood priestess. I like to punish my enemies before I kill them. Can I join your party? No. No, you cannot join my party. In fact, you know, I, I don't think there's going to be a party. Uh, man, maybe there will be, you know, we'll see. We'll see. This is strange. I just woke up in this house and I'm already so full of questions. And, and curiosity. Why am I here? Where am I? Oh, you are awake. You came in yesterday and looked pretty beat up. Well, you look better now. You should look around the town. The tavern should patron some other adventure seekers. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera to an agreeable viewpoint here. That'll do. Welcome. You can recover MP and HP at this inn. Would you like to stay? No, I don't have any money anyway. I see your save point, though. It can't possibly hurt to save, even this early on. Core Algrim. Core Algrim. I see. Who else is here? We might go snatch up that Blood Priestess after all. Hmm. Empty inn rooms. We got a bandana. Oh, this must be a... Uh, where he stays. You got a medicinal herb from inside the pot. I don't trust that one bit. Not one bit do I trust that. Those should be chamber pots, you know? But they're growing herbs in them. Okay, well I've done all the searching I could possibly stand doing. I think I'll go get that blood priestess to join my party. Because I, I mean, I don't have any enemies to torture before I kill them. But she might uh, come in handy, useful, for if I suddenly develop a craving for enemies. Uh, something tells me she needs help, and I'm a doctor anyway. A new ally has joined the party. Are oh, you you're just going to hang out here? No, I am not yet satisfied. <laughs> Ali has left the party. Okay, alright, I gotcha. I gotcha, cool. You are now in the party. Maybe. Are you? Yes, you are. Charlotte Shelby. I like your name. It's fancy. Now, we have concerns about what's going on. I... This must be the town of night. Can I go into first person? Oh, look at the beautiful fireworks. I'm so glad that I went into first person. So that's the inn. Wolf, wolf. I might not stay in first person now. I can't imagine that it's very fun to watch. Oh, hello there. Have you heard about that well? I heard a monster creep out of it. Ew, creepy. Why are you talking to me? I'm a stranger. Hey, there's something on the back of your head. Shouldn't you comb your hair? Statue of Menaroth Dark. Menaroth Dark. In ancient times, Menaroth Dark destroyed half of Edra. His reign of chaos and darkness was ended by the four heroes from Guthrum. 
Well, I'm glad we're paying him homage with the statue instead of the four heroes. Right? Where's your four heroes, love? I know that there's a tavern there. I'm kind of wondering about the rest of this town. Only those who are qualified can pass through here. Let me see your credentials. You don't, you don't have any I don't have any credentials. Psst. I hear creepy things from the mine down there. Don't you hear it too? I don't know what you're talking about, bucko. But I think I'm good to switch back to this view. So Town of Night, this game really struck me as a surprise because I have a pretty good feel on all of the different SGB games that are out there. Uh, past, present, but apparently not as good of a handle as I thought because this one went completely unnoticed. I had no idea what this was. You've heard some strange noises from the well. East of town, hello. I'm just kind of waiting for something to happen. That's default SGB dialogue. Hi, is this a mom and pop store? Can I buy a mom and pop here? Oh, not really. Hey, your weaponry is appropriately priced. Don't you wish that uh, this is kind of how things were priced in real life too? Instead we have like a whole spectrum of good tier, mid tier. There's all this, uh, there's all this competition between companies. I'm just kidding. I love I love that. Free trade is where it's at, baby. Competition. Woo! Commercialism and capitalism. Let's do it. No, but if it weren't like that, for real, it would be awesome if the first thing that you needed to buy for your profession or whatever, your food for your family, was, you know, one gold piece. And then the next tier up would be 100 gold, so you always knew your place. Pub. Somebody out there is going to take that the wrong way. There's no way I can weasel my way out of that one, so I'm just going to leave it there. The stuff in the stores is overpriced. You should hope to find what you need in the dungeons. Why? What's up with all the confetti? Is it somebody's birthday? Hello. You can change the view with Q. I don't know what that means, though. Hello. I have heard that monsters creep out from the well near the tavern. That is dangerous, don't you think so? Yeah. I certainly think so. But to be honest... I don't know why I'm going to be the first one to find out for about it for real. Welcome, can I help you find something? This is the general goods. Dwarven blood, a dwarven beer that will make you stronger. Ooh. Behemoth meat, it's actually just standard meat. That's good to know. Hey mate, I'm Turbo the dog. Woof. Hey mate, I'm Daniel Steer. I'm looking for something that got stolen. If you should ever find a bag of bones. Please bring it to me. I will do that. What do we have out here? Mind your own business. That's truer words have never been spoken by an NPC in any game ever in the history of existence. Hello, mister. Maybe those. Yeah, I just got both ends of the true NPC dialogue spectrum. Mind your own business and hello, mister. It doesn't get much more realistic than that. I'm wasting time. I guess I'm not wasting time, I just got a potion. But those doors don't lead anywhere, I don't think. Yeah, so there is a really slightly sinister vibe to all of this. But I find it noteworthy because this game was commercialized. This game was published and put on Steam. I'm going to check that well out. I feel like that's the well. Oh no, that's probably the well. We'll see. Happy face, I am the cutest mage girl you will ever see. Can I join your party? Please? Well, you'll fit perfectly right alongside the lady who wants to torture her enemies before she kills them. If I talk to her again, she'll talk about how dissatisfied she is, I'm sure. But I'll do it again for posterity. Crying face. Crying emoji. Okay, see you later. I'm crying. Ah. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, join up. Good grief. Are you both in my party? You are. What is this doctor doing with these people? I don't like it. I don't actually like it. But it's time. Let's enter the well. Ooh. We got some jiving music. 
And we got an antidote. You know, I don't like digging around these pots for all these herbs. I don't think it's very nice. I don't think it's very hygienic. Oh good, this battle system. You know, I've, I've been seeing this one a little bit uh, frequently lately, and I like it. What's your spells? In fact, what's everybody's spells? I have no skills. I have no skill. I'm just wearing an outfit that looks like a doctor. She's got poison. Uh, she does like to torture enemies. She's got fire. I mean, we'll use it. We'll use it. We'll use it. That bat is very strong. Okay. 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 Well, I'm gonna say this is pretty balanced. Depending on how much gold I get from winning this fight, this might actually be a nice challenging little dungeon. Oko Oko. That's your name, Oko Oko. Are those just like two emoji, just like letters that form a face? Just. Thank goodness we all leveled up. I need to get out of here and save. You don't understand. I am a coward. And I don't want to die. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. You know, I may have borked myself here by a lot. Oh no. Oh, the slime ran away. That's good. That's good news for me. That is good news for me. And now, Charlotte Shelby is poisoned. She did. I was not even a step away from leaving the stupid dungeon. Now this just saves, right? Yeah, because we're all still dead. Well, this is a promising start. Says the guy who died to rats in Barbaris. You know, the developer of that game found that so funny, or pitiful, that they're going to name the NPC in the basement of that game after me. Maybe in the next build. I don't want to save my guy. I need to heal. I need to, like, not be dead. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'll have to go sell some stuff. I'll have to go sell my herb and whatnot. Mm. I appreciate the balanced challenge. I always appreciate the balanced challenge. Where's the... Oh, it's a pub. I gotta go to the pub. I don't like how the town is... I kind of do and don't like it at the same time. The town is built such that, you know, all the houses are facing each other and such. And it's it's pretty much how it should be in, in real life anyway. But... Perfect. I have just enough and I'm going to keep everything else I have. But um it it makes it necessary to rotate the camera to see where you need to go and what you're doing, at least to get your bearings. I don't need to rotate the camera to get into the inn or the pub now. Uh except I'm totally going the wrong way. Which <sighs> forgive me. I'm trying to take the cheap way out here and it ends up just being like the slow way. I stay poisoned? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, and she stays dead. In case you wonder, yes, I am quite crazy. We're gonna use every item we have. 
to get back up to tip-top shape because there was just no way I had any chance to to do that anyway without using those items. Right? Unless I was ex exceptionally lucky. Or I probably could have ran into my room and slept in my own bed and save the gold. Whatever, I'm gonna own up to the mistake. It was mine. By gosh, we should be proud of some of our mistakes. 50 gold, rest in peace. I'm gonna go into this mansion. You were unable to open the door. I'm not gonna go into that mansion. <laughs> Only idiots would try to go into that mansion. We have some creepy twins. We're gonna explore the town a little bit more. Wow, what are you wowing, brat? Wow, we just guys have problems. Here's the clock tower. You were unable to open the door. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I go into the chimney there? No? It was worth a try. It's exactly what I say in real life. Heading out on a journey, eh? You will need my healing skills. Okay. What's your goodbye tech sound like? I will wait here. Okay. So, we have just NPCs that will join, or party members, I guess, that will join the party when you talk to them, and you can let them off your party at any time. And I like that. I like that. We have a town full of houses, there's items and everything, and then the very first dungeon is actually pretty challenging. Eek, get out you pervert. Truer words have never been spoken by any NPC. Who invited you in? Truer words have never been spoken by any NPC in any RPG since the existence began. No, don't go back in there. It's clear they don't want you in there. Well, I tell you what. Default assets and everything aside... Hey, there's something on the back of your... Oh, you little jerk. You already told me that. But I thought you were outside. Oh, okay. So it's just, it's more than one NPC points out that I have something in the back of my hair. Uh, let's finish exploring this town. I'm really interested to see where the design of this town goes. Oh, what do we have here? Nothing. A dead end. Don't worry about it. Ash. And we have a church. We have a graveyard. Can I find a bag of bones in this graveyard? I mean, it doesn't matter. They didn't even bother to bury those bones. Did not even bother. Okay, let's go into the church. Welcome children, our loving father watches over you too. Do you want me to pray? My prayer will heal you from all your ailments and will even raise the dead. Oh my goodness. You swindling... I mean... Bless you, Father. Now, I really don't regret using all of those items to get my party back up to ship shape condition. Well, we have a little bit more to explore before we run back into that mine. Hey, how's it going? I don't have gold, but I've got this. And he just gives me an iron hammer. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I can't equip that. Who can? Who equips the hammer? This is why you're allowed to let the people go. Because you can have more than just these party members. You don't talk? He doesn't talk, guys. He does not talk to me. Well, that's the town. We've explored all there is to explore in the town, and we have to get into this well. Which means, it is time for us to save. Twice, apparently. Let's make sure our new lady, Sashi Grayson, has got the skills to get us through that mine. She has healing. We can't get away from this poison bit. Mm, not unless we earn a bunch of money and go buy a whole bunch of those restorative herbs. 
which we will do in the next episode. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this. I think that this is an exercise in education. There's a little bit of town building going on that I haven't seen uh, done in this manner since I've played SGB games. All of these houses are very organically placed and, and angled. They are a bit close together. I'm not really trying to allegorize the realism here or anything like that. I just think it's interesting how the layout of the town is. And I like that the party members will join at the drop of a hat and then just go back to stand where they were if you let them and leave your party. It, it really makes me think what with having this new weapon that there's a lot more party members. I bet that guy inside the inn that looks like Solid Snake joins the party too, but I am interested to see where this goes, so I'm going to pick it up again. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I already said that, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.